Good morning, super cool party people. It is the return of the toque weather time. It's like four degrees out there, which honestly, I am loving. <laughs> We're just, I'm embracing it. Also, look at this hair. I desperately need a haircut last night. I'm like, I'm just gonna embrace the like wild woman look, but now I'm like, oh, that's bad. Um, the last time I got a haircut was in June 2019. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm bad and I only ever go get a haircut like once maybe twice a year and so around like February I was like oh, I should probably get my hair cut soon and then everything went into lockdown I was like cool 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 and then as things were opening up was just about the time I was going back into blind channel and so I just didn't have time and I don't know what my excuse is since then been busy anyways it is Wednesday, I'm back at work. I'm feeling a million times better than I was when I woke up yesterday morning. Uh, so I think it's just a matter of not sleeping enough and probably talking too much <laughs> was why my throat was sore. So that is good. Um, I should just have a four hour shift today, I think, I hope, because um, I gotta get some stuff in the mail and, and I have so much stuff to do. I wrote a list last night and it's big. Also, I'm wearing my first spooky scrunchie of the season it's really cute i really quite like it um <laughs> so yeah that's what i am doing i'm gonna try to get everything done as quickly as i can like i said the nice thing is because i didn't come in yesterday so that gives me like an hour of work to do today that i wouldn't have normally had so i, I say like like i'm pretty sure i have about two hours of stuff to do today from today and then one hour from yesterday so almost at my four hours so maybe i'll sew for a bit we'll see maybe i'll be slow i don't know anyways this hair man i'm gonna go now and i will check in with you along the way as i can likely the next check-in will be when i get home from work though and from mailing things Alrighty, so <laughs> I'm home now, which is very exciting. Um, I pulled out, I can't remember if I mentioned this yesterday, but I pulled out my brother warranty information and I set up a account with them and sent a message saying, hi, hey, this is the issue with my sewing machine, would super love some help to fix it. So that is dealt with because I think I was going to do that today, but then last night I was like, let's just do it. I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. Um, it is... 12 25 i got off work i went and i mailed my two orders uh, i'm just gonna message them and let them know that they have been dispatched <laughs> and um yeah and i think we have some food here and then i have a massive list to get done today i think like a lot of it is video related let's see three things are like editing vlogs making thumbnails and uploading um I want to transfer my October footage from last year onto my computer so I can start thinking about doing the October intro. Ideally, I would wash my new Christmas fabric today because I already have an order for a mask. <laughs> so I guess I'm washing it. And then um, just businessy stuff, I guess. Like I do sales and costs spreadsheet because like I did, like I said yesterday, I did the um, inventory spreadsheet and like sales costs profits etc on that but i need to do one for actual costs and actual sales but i did get paid for four masks today so that was exciting um yeah anyways that's where we're at it's it looks like a lot but like looking at it i think it's gonna go quickly if i can go quickly but i'm gonna have some lunch now i think and then um go from there brain has just completely stopped. It's fine. Hello, hello. It, uh, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. It has been some time. It is currently 10 after four, but man, have I been productive in the last three-ish hours. So I think the last time I touched base, I hadn't even, eaten, hadn't even eaten yet. And I had zoodles for lunch and that was just like what I needed. And it was amazing. That didn't sound good. <laughs> Anyways, so I had zoodles for lunch and then I came up here and I started working on stuff. So I've edited two vlogs now. I'm just working on the thumbnail for the second one. And then I'm kind of at a crossroads. Well, not a crossroads, but a bit of a roadblock because I need to do the October intro before I can export any more 
vlogs like I can edit the vlogs but until I get that intro done I can't actually export them so we'll see how I'm feeling what I might do is edit a couple of the October vlogs and then do the intro in a day or two because let's see the first October vlog should if I don't screw everything up go up on Sunday I think so I've got a couple days because today is only Wednesday I have also washed my Christmas fabric that I got the other day be so proud of me because normally I like procrastinate so hard with washing anything so I washed that and I have been working on very exciting things like tracking expenses uh, for this business that apparently I'm starting. I mean, I know I've been alluding to it for the last couple days, but I guess I'm going to open an Etsy store. <laughs> I say it like I'm still not sure. And honestly, like, if you look back at my goals from the beginning of 2020, <laughs> how naive we were then, one of my goals was to open an Etsy store with my embroidery but now I think it's going to be focused on like scrunchies and those reusable face pad thingies maybe some masks not sure um and then embroidery as I get to it so currently like yesterday I did all the inventory for stuff and so currently I'm tracking all the money that I've output and I'm separating it into like sewing and embroidery and then like shipping supplies and then I'm gonna have like a marketing slash design situation uh, basically it's just me like spending money like crazy but I did get paid for masks today <laughs> a little dent <laughs> and then yeah I'll have to track um, sales as well uh, which I do have a lot of the sales in here I just need to transfer it actually into a spreadsheet so that's exciting um i'm just finishing up the sheet for the embroidery stuff and then i'll do the sheet for the shipping stuff which is only like a couple items and i don't know like theoretically i will just recoup the costs um from shipping when i ship them like charge people so yeah anyways that's the thing that i'm most most stressed out about i think is just just the shipping in general like pressure it's one thing to, when you're sending stuff to friends because they're like, cool, when you send it. It's a very different thing when you're sending it to people you don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> Been super productive though, which is great. So I'm going to try to get this. My brain has stopped. This thumbnail, that's the word. I'm just like straight up staring at this, this screenshot that I grabbed. And I'm like, what am I doing? Uh, so I'm going to get this thumbnail done and then... What does my list say? Well, then I'll finish the spreadsheets, at least for now. I don't know if I mentioned yes. I think I mentioned yesterday, I've sent um, some ideas of what I want to my breakfast buddy, and so she said she would draft, start drafting me up a logo today, which is so exciting. Um, and then I would really, ooh, I can cross that off. I can cross a few things off. Um, and then I wanna take pictures of my fabric again because I have run out of some of it, so I don't wanna be like, oh yes, you can get masks in this fabric and someone's like that fabric I'm like I lied so yeah that's where we're at I'm rambling now so I'm gonna go but exciting updates for sure things are happening we're getting stuff done <laughs> the aftermath of taking updated fabric pictures <laughs> also my laundry <laughs> alrighty so I've got a heck of a lot done which is pretty impressive the only things like left on my list is to put my clothes away which it should happen but we'll see and then obviously clean up this disaster and then it's just cutting squares and fabric and stuff which is really exciting because that's something I want to do <laughs> so in good news I have my desk cleared off here because I was taking pictures there I did I finished my spreadsheet for costs I was gonna stop at like just the things I put in I was like you know what I should just track the sales and stuff too and um sales are pretty decent um <laughs> expenses not so much <laughs> but I mean like anybody who starts a business which I guess I'm doing I never started this with the intention of starting a business it started with I need it to make masks for me and my family and then I was like ooh, scrunchies are fun and then it just kind of spiraled from there so anyways I guess it's a business like I said um so anyone starting a business you're gonna they, they say that you're gonna be like in the negative for the first two years so one I'm not really concerned about it and two honestly if it's the cost of me enjoying myself and having a great time it's fine <laughs> if I don't recoup those costs 
that's fine because honestly this is gonna keep me entertained for the months of winter when I am stuck here at home unable to do the things so yeah but it's nice to like have like a physical tangible number now to kind of see what's going on also my excel skills are just like getting so much better so good job me but yeah that's where we're at and um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spend some time cutting some squares maybe i'll cut oh i don't want to cut it the terry cloth because the terry cloth is just so floofy but maybe i'll cut the terry cloth first and then pick some patterns to cut and then go from there i suppose i don't currently well okay i'm gonna say i don't currently have any mask orders but that's not necessarily true because i have a pending four to make um i just sent all the pattern pictures to her so that they could pick um and then my grandma and my grandpa i think want some i have to send my grandma the pictures and then i have to fix the one that i made for my friend that i managed to cut at the end but i'm again i'm not too concerned he's out of town today and tomorrow so i got time anyways that's where we're at i want to cut squares that's that's my decision i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it okay so it is 7 20. we just had dinner my mom picked up some wendy's on the way home because i was like what do you want to do for dinner here's some options or do you want to eat turkey or do you want to give it a break from leftovers and she's like i'll pick something up so clearly break from leftovers i just got my one package for today so it's some <laughs> just little thank you stickers wow could you focus there we go thank you stickers and then i also got these little um amber containers <laughs> pump pump containers eee! um yeah so mostly it's for taking cute pictures of my products with so that's cool that's the level i have reached um so yeah that's good to have we've got like a bit of a situation going on here but i'm making progress so we're still ignoring you because you're in timeout um i've got some scrunchies cut here and then i've got some uh, squares cut for the cotton pads and then i'm about to do the same do scrunchies out of this and then do some cotton pads out of this and that's um gonna be the move for the rest of the night i think the only thing left on my list is to whoa hello get in frame that's on my list is to tidy my room and put my clothes away so we'll see if that happens because those two things could be good but it is only 7 20 so i got lots of time i figure i can spend another couple hours cutting things <laughs> and then um go go from there It's 20 to 1. <laughs> Earlier today, I basically put parental controls on my phone. Just screen limit, right? So I couldn't use most apps on my phone after 11.30, which obviously was like right at the time when I was trying to get a lot of stuff done because um, I launched my Etsy shop. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and there it is. It's only got the cotton pads up right now because I figured they were the easiest thing to take pictures of. But um, yeah, so that's a thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> my plan was just to set up the shop um, and then add stuff like tomorrow or the next day. But um, to set up the shop, I had to add stuff. So I went full on photo shoot mode and just like, they're the best pictures and I'm aware of that. Um, I ordered a light box to actually take pictures of things. So that's coming, just won't be here till like next week or something. But I just wanted to get it started and I think tomorrow, <laughs> I'm at least gonna try to get my hell or I guess today technically because it's past midnight I'm at least gonna try to get the Halloween scrunchies up um because best chance of selling them is before Halloween <laughs> um but yeah so that was what I got up to today oh I want to take out my hair huh. I also cut out a ton of squares I think I have enough cotton squares to do like 17 more sets of cotton pads which is crazy um i don't think i have enough terry cloth to do that many there we go got that braid out that i put in last night because i was bored um and then i also got a bunch of scrunchies cut i was multitasking so i've got what one two three four 
five patterns there. I'm, I'm really quite tired if you can't tell. So with that, I'm climbing into bed. I, wow, that hair. I mean, I know, but wow. Um, I'm gonna climb into bed, go to sleep because I do have to work tomorrow. And then, and then hopefully I sleep well. It ain't gonna be long though. <laughs> I gotta get up in like six and a half hours, so I should try to go to sleep right now. Good night.